Hey, hey, my friends. I know we've done a lot as far as immune boosting, as far as using substances that are supposed to be antiviral. Let me hit you with one more. One more that is key for a reason. And it, this one doesn't get much play, although you do see it a lot of the times in a lot of immune formulas. A lot of viruses, they have what's called an envelope around the outside of them or a membrane, a lipid membrane, which is a fatty membrane around the outside of them. A lot of them have something called a capsid as well, which is like a protein shell around the outside. Now you think about an envelope around the outside, a protein shell around the outside. What is that? That's viral protection. That enables that virus to kind of dig in and it has its own armor on the outside to prevent our immune attackers from getting in there and beating it down. Certain viruses have envelopes, certain ones don't. Influenza, Corona, they are enveloped viruses. Um, as a matter of fact, the coronavirus actually from this envelope on the outside actually has some crown-like projections when viewed from a microscope. That's where it gets the name coronavirus. What we wanna do if we wanna mount an effective attack, part of that attack should be finding a way to break open or dissolve, get rid of that envelope around the outside. There is a substance out there, again, oft over overlooked called monolaurin. Monolaurin actually has the ability to get in there, dissolve that lipid membrane, open that virus up, and now our immune cells, our healthy inflammatory attack perpetuated by things like essential fatty acids, that healthy attack can now get in there, beat that virus down, kick it, send it on the, send it on the road. Monolaurin comes from lauric acid. Lauric acid is a saturated fatty acid found in coconut fat, um, and in breast milk as well. It's actually the predominant fat that's found in coconut oil. Now, I wouldn't just go guzzle a jar of coconut oil and I'll try to get some therapeutic uh, value of monolaurin. You don't know how much you're going to convert in the body. You don't know how much is in that coconut oil to begin with. And let's be honest, if you eat that much coconut oil, you're going to create more of an issue with things coming out the backside rather than antiviral protection. There's a rate limiting factor, a bowel tolerance factor when it comes to coconut oil injection. So what we want to do then is in part of our comprehensive immune attack, this might be reactionary if you do think you have the virus or have on deck for when you think a viral illness has creeped in is utilize something like monolaurin. Remember, like I said, monolaurin has the ability to go in there and dissolve that lipid membrane opening up the virus. Now the virus, he's exposed. He's susceptible. Now we can get in there with the rest of the robust immune attack we've been trying to mount. We've been trying to fortify with all these other things. Get in there, beat down that virus, whether it's the influenza, corona, monolaurin, open it, knock it out.